because when I arrived at Ohio State University in August of 1979, I had the great privilege of meeting Professor and Dean Albert Soloway, who was at the time the Dean of the College of Pharmacy at Ohio State University. And we had lunch together. And during the course of the luncheon, he told me about the research he had been doing when he had been at the Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston. And the research sounded very interesting. I had never, ever heard of BNCT before, but it sounded like this might be a very promising way to treat cancer. So that was the beginning. And Dr. Soloway and I uh, started writing research grants together, getting money, funding for these grants, publishing papers, having lunch every week, once a week, and continuing up to two weeks ago, before I left the United States, I had lunch with Dr. Soloway, who is now 93 years old and very, very sharp. That is a very important topic. And uh, basically, the problems relate to um, the requirement to get enough boron into every tumor cell, every cancer cell, presumably, in, a, in an amount sufficient for this neutron capture reaction to occur and to get it distributed to all of the cancer cells. And that, unfortunately, has proven to be almost impossible, not totally impossible, because there are some very good clinical results um, that suggest that maybe it was possible to do that, and some animal results that suggest it was also. So that's one of the major problems. Another major problem relates to the neutron source, which in the past has been nuclear reactors. And now, with relatively few exceptions, one of them here in Taiwan, reactor neutron capture therapy is a um, approach of the past and not the future. The future now will be to use accelerator neutron sources and that uh, is yet to be determined how effective they will be. The, cl the clinical data from Japan have not been released, so we don't really know how good the results are with the accelerator neutron source compared to the reactor-based neutron source. And the other problem relates to the boron delivery agents. After many, many years, at least 40 years of chemists working together with biologists uh, to try to develop boron compounds that can be used for neutron capture therapy. At this point in time, we only have two drugs that uh, can be used clinically. And that is unfortunate because they're not ideal. There are problems with each of these two drugs. My most recent research has gone to another type of approach to treat brain cancer that does not involve neutron capture therapy. Uh, it involves uh, using ordinary X radiation in combination with the delivery to the site of the brain tumor of a very powerful chemotherapeutic agent, carboplatin, that usually is not used to treat brain tumors because an, not enough of it would get to the side of the tumor. But this approach of using X radiation with carboplatin has given us experimental data that is as good as the best that we ever got with uh, neutron capture therapy.
at this point in time, I am an emeritus professor, which practically means that I have closed down my research laboratory. But that doesn't mean I'm still not interested in BNCT and still not writing papers uh, in, in this subject. In fact, three papers have just come out in the journal Cancer Communications, which is a Chinese journal, um, and there are four papers in this journal, special issue on BNCT. That's a very simple question, and it's unfortunate that the answer is no. Um, the government in the United States has decided at this point in time, through both the National Institutes of Health and the Department of Energy, that BNCT is not one of their funding priorities, which practically means that there is no money from the National Institutes of Health now supporting BNCT-related research. That's an excellent question. A lot will depend on how successful the accelerator neutron source is uh, as a, um, something that can be used by doctors and hospitals and not have to go to a nuclear reactor. If it turns out that these accelerators really are giving good clinical results, I think there's a good future. Don't be discouraged. Um, try to submit very good grant applications to the National Institutes of Health, and hopefully there may be some funding coming.